EA Sports brings you a special edition of the National Football League for this Halloween matchup. The action is only moments away. All that and more coming up next. From the banks of the Ohio River, there's a look at what's now known as Paycor Stadium here in Cincinnati. Alongside my partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn. Happy to be with you. And CD, as we get this thing going, give the folks at home something to keep their eye on. The running game for both teams, because I think this is going to be an old-fashioned, old-school type of a game. Physical, who wins up front, who runs the ball the best and controls the clock, they will come out the victor. Here's the former Auburn kicker, Daniel Carlson, to get this one started. And we are underway from Cincinnati. And just shutting him off there. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. And the Bengals make their way out on offense for the first time, led by their fifth-year quarterback out of LSU, Joe Burrow. Burrow is coming off a year where he suffered his second season-ending injury over a four-year span. And while that's certainly concerning, there's certainly no denying he's truly one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL whenever he's on the field. However, for them to reach their full potential, he has to be out there because as long as he is, this team is a legitimate contender to win it all. So first and 10 now from the 30. Here's Burrow to throw right away. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. And their coach told us the other day that they wanted to get him in a nice groove right out of the gate. And one way to do that, give him quick throws where he can get the ball out of his hand in a hurry, as he did there. They're passing here. Joe Burrow on the slant. He'll get it to Jones. But following the play now, they're going to stop the clock here as a man is shaken up. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. Now Burrow. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps to have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Now it's Burrow. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 44-yard line. A nice pickup there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. They'll run for the first time here with Brown. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. So that run play nullified by the holding call of the tight end. Yeah, I just think he needs to get off the ball a lot quicker and get into the block a little bit more effectively. Then he doesn't have to reach and grab and try and hold on. Now it's Burrow. He's going to have the hook up here to chase. And he maybe makes it back to the line of scrimmage. That's it. So he stopped for no gain. And it's second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch. But even with that completion, zero yards gained, 
so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He can make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. And his throw is incomplete. Well, partner, guaranteed they approach this play with the idea of making up ground to make third down manageable. Unfortunately, with that incompletion, right back where they started on the last snap. Now they need a big third down play in order to pick up the yardage needed. The seventh play now of this opening drive. This is third and long, though. Throwing again, it's Burrow. That one taken in by T. Higgins. They'll wind up with 17 on that one, but they're still a bit short here for fourth. Interesting decision here. Opening drive, Charles, fourth and short. You're in field goal range. We'll see what they do. I just shake a fist at my offense and say, go get it, guys, because if you can't pick up fourth and short here, we're probably in trouble the rest of the game. Show some confidence. Show some aggressiveness. Go pick it up. And he's able to get it to the 31, and that's enough for the first. I don't believe that that was called right here in the moment. I believe this was called during practice this week, that he was going to decide to be aggressive even on his own side of the field. Just you mean because it's the opening drive? Maybe they had this scripted? I think that he just talked about it with his team and said, listen, I'm confident in you. If we end up in this situation, we'll go for it early just to set a tone in this game. And they'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. It's a Bengal first down, a pickup of 11. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script, you go through your play calling, you go through all the stuff and establish things, and it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. Throw left side complete to Chase. And the Bengals are going to have a first and goal as the tackle made at the 10-yard line. A lot of precision being shown on this opening drive. They've been methodical, they've been crisp, and as a reward, they're going to be set up with an early first and goal. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door, first and goal. Burrow will throw. This will be caught by Brown. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Three yards is the gain that time, second and goal. And so far, a very nice, methodical opening drive. This has the feel of a scripted drive that they rehearsed perfectly all week long, and now they're executing it on game day. Script looks good so far. Here's Burrow. And that is caught. He's got it for a Bengal touchdown. Charlie Jones from six yards away. And the Bengals are on the board first here this afternoon. Well, they spoke about the importance of getting off to a good start, and they're on their first drive, Charles, into the end zone for the touchdown. And what an advantage for them. They're already clicking one drive in, didn't need to wait to get up to full speed. We had heard about the extra time they put in with each other, trying to learn each other's skills, what they like, the whole deal, and it paid off early in this one. I would expect them to keep firing on the next drive and keep that connection going. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. So that drive, 12 plays in length. And it's finished off with a Cincinnati touchdown. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. So out come the Raiders for their opening drive. And at the helm in his first year in silver and black, sixth season overall, Gardner Minshew. And he's someone who brings a ton of personality with him, but don't let that fool you. He's more than capable of playing winning football at this level and has actually done so. I don't know if he's their long-term answer under center, but as long as he trots out there, they'll have a puncher's chance and maybe a bit more to compete with any team they line up against. First carry of the game for Zamir White. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. 
Logan Wilson that time there to bring him down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Now Minshew. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. Well, that's not the way you want to start. A first pass attempt and a first drop all in one. Well, you've got plenty of time to make up for it, but obviously not the way you want to get things started. Got to shake that off and get going. They had the incomplete pass on second down. Now they need a big play here, third and ten. Looking to throw it, Minshew. And a good job on the tackle there as they get him down shy of the first on the 35-yard strike. So instead of giving them another third down, they'll decline it, brings up four. Now that's smart football right there. You don't even have to really spend a lot of time considering it. Just know that you're probably going to get the ball back. Good job declining that penalty. On fourth down, A.J. Cole comes on to punt. Charlie Jones deep for Cincinnati. Good open field tackling there. A 50-yard punt followed by just a one-yard return. And the Bengals will have a first and 10 from deep in their own territory. Cincinnati coming back onto the field here for their second drive. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. They defer to Brown to start the drive. And he's dropped just shy of the 25 at the 24. Ten yards there to start the drive, and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. That was good, tough running right up the middle. And if the defense can't penetrate and make him slow his pace or change direction, that's often the end result. They go right back to the ground here in Brown. And he maneuvers up the middle for three, and it's second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Burrow looking to pass. Got a man, it's Brown. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme. And you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking. And that's from the offensive lineman creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before that he always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. On second and very short, Burrow. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And we got a pause following the play because it appears a member of the Bengals in some discomfort. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory at the 48-yard line. From the shotgun, Joe Burrow. And he'll spot Higgins open left side. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Ball on the 39. Here's second down and one. Burrow on 
play action. Complete to Jones. Yeah, you only get a one-yard buffer there from the line of scrimmage, and he got downfield a little too far, and the flag came out. They'll give this up the middle to Brown. Brown with a stick skills. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. 57 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. I hope we give enough respect to the big guys up front because they have been getting it done on this drive. The holes have been large, and they've been barreling through them, picking up first downs. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. And their back's up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple of more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. They'll drop the throw. And that'll be off the mark, too far out in front, and it's incomplete. Well, it looked like a march to the end zone has hit a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. They'll look to throw here. And he's wrapped up. Taken down. Back at the 25. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. We always talk about how teams are so competitively matched and you just want to make those plays that give you an advantage. How about right here? The difference between letting them score a touchdown versus holding them to a field goal, that's absolutely huge with the play he just made. And you know he hated taking the loss there on third down. So on fourth down, off goes Burrow. On comes Evan McPherson for the Bengal field goal. McPherson's kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So another scoring drive there, Charles, and an early two-score lead. You'd like the six there, partner, but you'll take the three, and I think they have to be happy about the way they moved the ball in these first two drives. They have to feel good about their opportunities the rest of the game. So after the made field goal, 10-0 here early as the kick's away. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Second drive of the game coming up for this Las Vegas offense. They'll look to get something started. They need to down 10-0 early as they've got it first and 10. The gun is Minshew. Flushed out right. And he'll even avoid the contact in the end as he will finally slide to a halt. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. This early in the game, it's all about making steady progress downfield, hoping to lead to early points. And you can do it with your actual play calls or sometimes something a little more improvised as we just saw there. Minshew sets to throw. A quick throw knocked away and incomplete. And that's a nice job there because you've got to play the ball, not the man winning coverage. That'll keep you away from a lot of needless penalties. And he's able to knock that one away. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Here's Minshew. Oh, he's going to let this go for the end zone. And he backs it away, and it falls down incomplete. 
Almost feels like anything you can do, we're going to try and match or do better. We've already seen one touchdown pass from the opposition. They tried to equal it on that throw. So now third and ten, a big play to start the drive, but nothing since. From the gun, Minshew to throw. He's going to go up top again. Touchdown, Raiders! Trey Tucker, 38 yards. And the Raiders are back within a score. And correct me if I'm wrong, that was just a simple fly route, wasn't it? No, there's nothing to correct at all. You've got it down pat. And I just remember as a player, when I'd be in practice sessions and I'd hear nine from the receivers, that meant fly route, go. Uh-oh, look out. <laughs> that was the nine, and he just kept going all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. Now for the extra point, Daniel Carlson. And they're back within a field goal. It's 10-7 now. A drive there of just four plays. And it ends with a Las Vegas touchdown. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. Ready to go on offense, out come the Bengals. And they had a long drive last time, but they had to settle for a field goal. And I'm sure that's how it felt to them, settling. They probably should have gotten in the end zone. Yeah, not out and out joy, right? Because that's what you get when you put the ball in the end zone. But there are benefits to that type of a long drive. Your defense gets a chance to take a break, adjust a little bit, maybe get themselves ready to get back out on the field and play a little bit better. So they'll take the benefit, even though they wanted the six points. Yeah, maybe wore down the other defense. We'll see. They'll come out throwing here on first down. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. Well, that was his first target of the game, and it's going to take at least one more target to get him on the board. Took a nice substantial hit to jar that catch loose from him. Incomplete pass. So now they'll come up on second and 10, once again from the 28. Out of the gun, it's Burrow. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And the Raiders pick it up. Then he will bring it back to about the 11-yard line. Well, we may not see it behind the big play sheet that they like to use, but I'll bet there's a big grin on the defensive coordinator's face. A corner blitz, what we often call a cat blitz. Usually they disguise it, Brandon. You're up on a receiver. It looks like you're going to bump and run with him, press coverage, and then he just takes off straight for the quarterback and someone comes behind him to pick up the receiver. And as a former member of the secondary, it makes you happy too, doesn't it? I can't, I can't lie about it. <laughs> I've got a big grin on my face too. That was a heck of a play, a heck of a call. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Now a give up the middle. This is White. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Raider touchdown. Zamir White taking it in from 11 yards out. And the Raiders have taken the lead. A strong, determined run there, Charles, to get in for six points. This is why it's such a team game, isn't it? And I know that sounds really generic and it sounds almost trite, but the blocks were made up front, offensive line, collective victory at the line of scrimmage and downfield. And how about the finish to the run all the way into the end zone? Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And the lead is now 14 to 10. Well, they got the ball in great field position. One play later, boom, end zone.
Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. Cincinnati now ready to take the field. Charles, you got to think the number one goal here is ball security. Remember last drive, they coughed it up. Then they allowed the touchdown, and now they're trailing on the scoreboard. Boy, the way you described it makes me think that that one actually hurt them three times. The fumble cost them potential points. Then they watched their opponent get a touchdown off of the fumble. And third, they lost the lead as a result. Really tough sequence right there. I don't think coaches have to remind them to hold on to the football. They've just got to find a way to get it done. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. Well, we keep stats on everything, don't we? This is one that you don't want to have. That's his second drop right here in the first quarter. Yeah, I was going to say only in the first quarter. Certainly a ship that he wants to right quickly. To throw on second and ten. Burrow. And Jones has it over the middle. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. They're passing here. Joe Burrow. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's going to have a Bengals first down. They needed three. He doubled that. He got six. We are in for a good one as we're through one on EA Sports. Ready for the second quarter from Cincinnati. It's the Bengals with the football here. As they've got it with a first and 10. On first and 10, here's Brown. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Tyree Wilson getting back there in a hurry and handing him a loss. When we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off, okay? So they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 26. Well, forget the run on third and one. They shock the D and rip off a pretty big play. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot and they connected there and picked up a first down. He'll take it inside the 25. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. Another run for Brown on second down. They'll get him to the ground at the 20, following a pickup of four. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. So two of two on third down conversions on this drive, and now they face a third and three here. Now it's Burrow. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And the Bengals are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. It's all pretty simple sometimes, isn't it? Go where the defenders are not, and he does exactly that. Makes a nice catch to move the chains. 
defense got to find a better way of accounting for the shorter routes that are being run against them. And a give to Brown on the option. Dances. And he takes it into the end zone. Touchdown, Bengals. Chase Brown, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Bengals are able to move back in front. A solid blocking up front from the guys on the offensive line allowed him to get in for the touchdown. Yeah, some might say that the guys on the offensive line were in concert. I used to have a coach who called it marrying up. Meaning, when you get on a guy, you just stay right there. And each guy has his own assignment that allowed the runner to make the big move towards the end zone. And McPherson on for the extra point. It's good, and they'll take a 17-14 lead. A 10-play drive that time, and it's finished off with a five-yard touchdown run. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. Oh, some strong running. And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Call it the 26. The Vegas offense ready for their next possession. As this offense comes back out here, Charles, they're trailing in this ball game, And they've been on the sideline for a while. They did score their last time out, but they just had to watch that long, sustained drive. So we'll see if they can shake the rust off. Yeah, and that's always a, a question that you have when you have to come off the bench after having sat there for a long time. Are you ready to go? Are you loosened up? But even more so, are you mentally alert and ready to put your best product out there? And they're able to get this one across the 35. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. How many times do we say in this game is speed kills, and it does it in so many different ways? In this case, you got a back who's quick and shifty, can make moves, make people miss, but also gets to and through a hole before it can close down. That's some of the benefits of that speed, not just outrunning people in the secondary. And that led to a really nice game. And he gets us to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. Well, they had a gain of 10 last time, now a gain of 20 here. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. First carry now for Alexander Madison. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? From the 35, here's second and a yard. They'll go play action here with Minshew. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. It's another zone defense. It looks like it's open for possibilities, but they did a nice job patrolling the middle of the field and forcing an incompletion. They tried to throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. They'll set up to throw. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. I know ultimately that feels like a good defensive play, but I know it's really not. They had a chance to keep points off the board. Now they have a chance to kick a field goal by missing that shot. Yeah, especially at this spot in the field. He's got to be upset he couldn't come up with that INT. The kick by Carlson is good, and that will tie things at 17-all. 
So it was fourth and one. They wind up taking the three, but I'm not sure that that offensive unit, judging by the sideline, <laughs> Charles was in 100% agreement with the decision. No, not at all. But the head coach has final call on this. We know that. But let's face it, offenses want to feel like, hey, you believe in us? Let us go for it? We'll see if that is a problem for them moving forward in this game. Seventeen, seventeen. the score. All even to this point as the kick's away. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. The Bengals offense and Joe Burrow getting set for this next drive. And he's had things all his way in this first half. The number's sensational as he'll look to add to them with another drive here. The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. Now it's Burrow. Jones has it. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 15 yards there for number 15. And now at this point in the first half, You've got to realize as an offense, you're not going to get it all back in one fell swoop. This is going to be about sustained drives and making sure you finish with points. And that's a good throw there for a first down. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. Throw left side complete to Chase. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. So it goes as a completed pass, but they lose a full five yards. Well, that was exactly a thing of beauty. I know they completed the pass, but look at the yardage lost. I mean, who does that make happy? That's why I don't play in PPR points per reception fantasy <laughs> leagues right there. You'd be really you don't deserve upset, anything right? for that. But you get credit for it? Is yeah. that how that works? Yeah. Well, I know whoever has this team's defense, they were happy about that play. Just a gain of a couple there. And that's going to lead to a third and 12. We'll see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. Again, it's Burrow. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he'll go out of bounds. It appears right at the 45. So the completion good for seven there. And it'll be fourth down. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part, catching the football, right, whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, comes together with the legs, in this case the feet, did a little toe tap to stay in bounds and complete the catch. And a great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber pellets flying up. Great catch. They begin the drive on the ground. It's White. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. If you're in the offensive huddle, you're smiling after that play because you've certainly got them guessing now. Second and short, could they just hand it off for another big gain, or do they take advantage of this spot to take a big shot downfield? They'll come up now second and four from the 31. On the draw, here's White. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. 
And that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run. And at that yardage gained, they can run that plan any down. First down, here's White. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. No, he doesn't have it. Maybe some alligator arms there going over the middle. Third down. Looked like they had an opportunity for a big play across the middle, but he didn't have the concentration or the focus necessary and dropped it before he could haul it in. And this offense on third down today, just one for three thus far. This time they face a third and two. They'll try to pick this up on the ground with White. And he's brought down, but not before picking up the first with a very effective stiff arm. Give him the third down conversion, five yards on the play. I don't know about you, but that almost felt like old-time football there. Third and two is not necessarily just a running down anymore. A lot of times they want to throw the ball. They went back to the roots and powered forward and got the first down. On first down, he'll drop to throw. Rolling to his left. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. No shortage of impressive moments from him thus far. Now he's halfway to the century mark, and we're still in the first half. There's been no answer for his running ability so far by the defense. I can't wait to see what adjustments they'll have to make during the halftime break. Off play action, it's Minshew. That's caught by the tight end, Harrison Bryant. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. First time they've hooked up here. Good for 17 and a first down. Second and short, that's a rundown, so it's definitely a good time to go play action if you're feeling it. And they do so and pick up a first down. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. Looking to throw it, Minshew. Oh, it's intercepted! A drive killer there! And the Bengals will take over here just shy of the 30. Well, they were in a great position to take the lead, Charles. Obviously, all they needed was a field goal to do that. They wanted the touchdown. Unfortunately, they're going to get neither. And you know every offense talks about the same thing each week, don't they, Brandon? They want to end every drive with a kick, whether it's a field goal attempt, a point after the touchdown, or at worst, a punt. This time they had that opportunity but didn't get it because you know the field shrinks that close to the end zone. And that allows a defense to tighten up their coverage, and they pick that one off. Now the Cincinnati offense ready to see what they can do here. As we eat closer and closer to intermission, Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession of the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides, but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher on the team with the slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. Let's see how this one continues. His back has been a dependable safety valve all game, so he went back to him when his first read was covered. Just unable to connect, so the play results in no gain. Here's second and 10 now from the 29. Here's Burrow. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. I know the halftime's approaching, but I don't think he's going to want to take a break. That's his fifth catch. Yeah, they've really been targeting the tight end. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Burrow looking to pass. 
That is caught. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Now the Bengals are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. And they'll send the tight end in motion. And Burrow going to throw again. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. He'll be stopped at the 35, but not before he picks up seven yards. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. The Bengals going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Now Burrow. Over the middle, he finds Higgins. Now the Bengals going to signal for their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Now a second and six. Burrow will throw. And he's got it. Touchdown, Bengals. Chase Brown as the first half is winding down. And the Bengals have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. And that touchdown gives them a touchdown lead before they attempt the extra point. What a great way to end the half. Yeah, great job to put themselves in front. And now see on the sideline special teams defense scrambling saying we want to preserve this for the final moments of this second quarter McPherson now for the extra point and they will take a seven point lead now so that drives seven plays in length and it ends with a Bengals score So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. One final go for this offense here in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. 19 seconds showing to play in the half as they come up here first and 10. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Now Minshew, caught by Turner. Now the Raiders going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half.
Minshew sets to throw. He'll get the tight end Bowers involved there. And offensively, they'll take the timeout with six seconds left in the second quarter. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. He's going to need a little mustard on this one. It will be a 51-yard attempt. The kick by Carlson is good, and that'll bring him back within four. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. So barring a touchback, this likely the final act of the half as the kick is away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The Bengals drive about to get going. And they'll have time for one play. There's two seconds on the clock. Final play of the half for Burrow and company. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. So we are at halftime here on Halloween. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. Both these offenses have been in fine form. What will the second half bring us as we are underway in quarter three? And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Out comes the Raiders offense. They'll go on offense first to start quarter number three. Well, Charles, in that first half, we saw a fair amount of offense on both sides of the football. And now the team trailing here will start with it in the third quarter. And we both know this coach pretty darn well, don't we? Because his game planning is always on point. And now that he's getting the ball to start the second half, how about all the offense that you already referenced in the first half? He'll put that all together and come out with something really strong, I believe, to get things going here in the third quarter. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Opting to run again here with White. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. 72 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. That's a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They'll go Madison up the middle. To the 43 second down and result of that one a nice four yard gain so you can use that to set up your play action game or you can come right back and continue to run the football because as an offensive play caller you're on schedule and feeling pretty good about your next couple of calls second and six running from the shotgun with madison and some nifty running here as he'll take this across midfield and down to the 47. A pickup of 10, and it's enough for a Las Vegas first down. Pardon, if you want more carries, I think we saw how you get him. Showed that he's got the fresh legs, and he picked up the first down on that run. Don't just ask for him. Show him that you're supposed to get the football. 
They'll go up the middle with White. And he picks up about six as he gets this down to the 41. They've created a nice sustained drive off of plays like that. A nice strong run there that keeps him advancing the ball. This second and four. Now a give to Madison. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. That's all about doing the dirty work right there defensively. Second and short yardage, that's all about plugging those gaps, not giving the running back a crease to run through. And has a nice job to hold him just a couple and force a third down. Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. They run straight ahead here with White. And he is going to have the Raiders first down. At least it appears that way. And he got it by maybe the length of a football. Well, someone's been having a good game so far. And you know something? Lava's been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. They go right back to White here on first down. And an excellent job of finding the opening as he's got this now all the way down to the 22. So that flag obviously takes away the good yardage that they had on the play. And talk about a momentum shift because we can visibly see this celebration shifting from one side of the field to the other as soon as everyone saw the flag. Big Sheldon Rankins there to bring him down. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Second and 12, operating from the 39. Minshew, he's going to keep it himself. Four yards there on the keeper, but still going to bring up a third down. And if you like defensive football, focus on the defensive end on this play. He does everything exactly right. Reads the play and makes sure he spills it for a small gain. So third down now. They need the 27-yard line for a first. Out of the gun is Minshew. Short throw caught by Bowers. And a good tackle there right around the 30. Stops him short of the first down. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And that'll bring up fourth down. He's a rookie, and you don't want to get hung up on the word potential. But when you see him make catches like that, you keep thinking to yourself, he's good now. He's got a chance to be great with plenty of work. Carlson able to put this one through. And that'll bring him back within a point. So they were facing the deficit coming out of the locker room at intermission, and at least they're able to get the field goal to cut into that deficit. Yeah, now your offense feels pretty good about itself, right? A little bit more up to speed coming out of the break. You turn to your defense now and say, hey, we got three there. We're chipping into the lead. Can you help us out? Hold them. Let's get the ball back for us. After the made field goal, Carl Sinell sets up to kick this away. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Bengals offense and their quarterback headed out for this next possession. And as we show you some of the highlights from earlier, he has been instrumental in getting his guys the lead as he looks to finish strong and close this one out. The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. They have played so strongly. You look at the scoreboard, you, you probably, with the way they played, you would think the margin would be a lot bigger, right? You would. And in your experience, how many times have we run into coaches where they've talked about, hey, we just want to put it in the hands of our defense and have them win the game? In this case, yeah, not, the case. not at all. You want to put it in the hands of your offense, but you always feel better about seeing defense because you think defense is a constant and offense kind of comes and goes. Today, <laughs> this game, no, they need their offense to stay on a really hot level. They've been hot so far. 
Running right, here's Brown. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. He was able to escape momentarily in the backfield, but you could just kind of tell that wasn't going anywhere. You know, in the film session, he'll get a minus for not getting him on the ground by himself. But what the coach is really going to analyze, how fast did his teammates get there to help him? If one guy slows him up, everyone else better be there. And that's what they got on that play. And Burrow going to slide to the ground as he does pick up the first down. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. It certainly appears that he's been able to get a read on how they wanted to contain him in this game. He's seen some places where he can beat them in big spots. And right there, he slides in with ease for the first down. Shotgun handoff to Brown here. And a lane slow and materializing there as he'll get maybe a yard up to the 45. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. But give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. Ball spotted at the 45. Here's a second down and nine. They keep it on the ground. Again, it's Brown. Pushing forward for three up to the 48. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. From the gun on third down is Burrow. And that will be incomplete. And that's a really good job there defensively. They went into this possession knowing that they needed to get a stop. They're in a tight ball game. And they got it done. Great work to force the three and out. Got the football right back for their offense. They've got to go to the sidelines feeling pretty good about themselves and encouraging their offensive mates to get some points. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. And they won't risk defending a return here. That one's out of bounds, and it'll be spotted, spotted at the 14-yard line. The Raiders' offense and their running back, Zamir White, getting set for their next drive. And you have to imagine this defense saying, how do we stop this guy? He has run roughshod through him to this point in the third quarter. The offense for Las Vegas about set to begin the drive. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want it to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it. Way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, that <laughs> weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive to end with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. Here's Minshew. And his throw here is incomplete. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent, and that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. They'll drop the throw. Now Minshew has it knocked out, fumble. Oh, one of the linebackers has got it. And they will take over at the 29-yard line. And that play just looked a little helter-skelter from the start. But that's the risk as a quarterback. Once you take off with that football, you might fumble it, and he did. And he was going for the reward, which is gaining yardage, breaking down a defense, which you're right about the risk. Always lurking out there, someone always trying to get to the football. Try to find a place to cover up and slide and protect what you've earned. The Bengals offense now, they head back onto the field. They were forced to punt last time, and I doubt sincerely that they'll have to punt here because they're gifted with terrific field position. I don't even want to think about the idea that they would end up punting starting with this type of field position. Neither do they. Great starting spot, great opportunity to run your full playbook. If they want to take a shot here, they can go ahead and do it. In motion goes the tight end. Out of the gun, it's Burrow. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. 
I think we could all understand what they're thinking right now. They take over the ball in field goal range after the turnover, so they've got that in their hip pocket. But they've got to go for the end zone and turn this into a bigger point. Their thinking is a touchdown is really what they should get from starting here. Getting three points at the end of this drive, that would feel disappointing. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. And after that completion, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position. The tight ends have created so many tough matchups now. If you can't run with a tight end as a linebacker, this is going to be the result every time. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And he is going to have a Bengals first down as they're able to move the sticks with a gain of four on third and inches. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. To the air again, Burrow. Over the middle complete, it's Jones. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of, until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. They're passing here, Joe Burrow. And he will take it on in for a Bengals touchdown. Charlie Jones with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Bengals take advantage of the field position on the turnover to cash in for six. In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors. But that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. McPherson on for the point after. And with that, the lead is up to eight. Five plays there on that drive. And it's finished off with a Cincinnati touchdown. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The Raiders now set to get the football back. Last time out, they had the fumble. That led to the touchdown. Not a great look on either side of the ball as the defense gave up the points too, Charles. But they've got to take care of the football and do better here on this possession. It's certainly been a tough stretch partner for both of those units, and they kind of put their defensive mates in a really tough spot there by dropping the ball on the ground. But an easy way to make it up to them, get out there now and get some points on this drive. From the gun, Minshew to throw. That's complete to Turner. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Running out of the gun with White. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. Second down and four. They'll go play action here with Minshew. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. As he came to the line of scrimmage, he knew he didn't need much to reset the chain. So when he saw the space he needed, no hesitation. He went to the marker and got his guys a first down. 
Here's Madison running on first down. And he'll be taken down after a decent gain, and that will bring us to the end of this third quarter of play. We have played three quarters. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Cincinnati. It's Raider football here, but they're on the short side of the scoreboard right now as we begin the fourth. From the 34-yard line, here's second and two. Now a give up the middle. This is White. And they eventually get to him at the 17 after a pickup of 17 into the red zone. First down. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And this is caught. Touchdown, Raiders. D.J. Turner from 17 yards out. And the Raiders have a chance to tie things up as they trail by two here in the fourth. So part one of what they needed is done. They get in the end zone. Now you have to imagine we'll see a try for two. And that's what the book says, but defensively, they can't hang their head right here. They still got a chance to come out with the lead if they make a play. All right, now a big two-point conversion attempt still to come. They're going to try and run for it, but he is not going to make it. It's a big play by the defense, and they're going to hold on to their two-point lead. And the failure to convert and tie the game, now the pressure shifts back to the defense. But I think it was the right play. I think it was the right call to try and tie the game there. Kick an extra point, you're still down one. What's the sense? I, I like what they did. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The home team's offense and their quarterback set to take the field once more. And this defense might be about ready to wave the white flag. Nothing they have tried to throw at him has been that successful. He just processes things so quickly and makes a right read seemingly every time. The Bengals drive about to get going. And they've seen their lead nearly extinguished after that last score. But bottom line, they are still on top with the football. And a touchdown on this drive would really put them in position A. It'll be a loss of 10. And it'll bring up Sackett. This is a little hard for me to compute because I'm watching sack after sack happen. But somehow, they're still behind in the game. I would expect all of this defensive pressure to translate to them taking a lead. And thus far, it hasn't happened. Time's winding down. They don't want to waste this type of performance from these ace pass rushers. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. Now whistles and a flag. And I believe a Bengal got going a little early there. Ooh, moving from his tight end spot there. Do you think that perhaps the play call was for him? And that false start penalty certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. Now it's Burrow. And he'll find Chase on the right side complete. Little power on the move that time, but still tackled shy of the 20. 
It'll go as a gain of four. And they're going to be staring at a third and long here. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. And this will be caught by Brown. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. They do get 10 back, but still a ways to go on fourth. And when you have success throwing the football, the old cliche becomes true. The playbook opens up wide, and these screen passes, they become even more difficult to stop. The Bengals bring out their punter now as he's on to kick it away. Fair catch called for and made right at the 25-yard line. The Raiders offense had Gardner Minshew getting set to go to work once more. And he has been masterful so far in leading this offense. He's kept the mistakes to a minimum. He's been on point with his passes. And he's generally been one step ahead of this defense all game long. The Las Vegas offense ready to start this next drive. And you sense the tide turning. They scored, then their defense forced the punt, and now a chance to ultimately take the lead here late. And they work this well upfield across the 45. 129 yards rushing for him now as his sensational afternoon continues. We'll definitely see some open running lanes, and he's taking advantage of it right now, but that shouldn't be a surprise. Defense has the lead. They're playing for the pass first. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. They'll look to throw here. That is incomplete. That was for the lead right there. They know they're in a position where fortune favors the brave. So they took their shot, but couldn't connect. Second and 10. On the handoff, this is White. And across midfield he goes and into Bengal territory. Five yards, now it's third and five. Not a ton of room available on that one, but he made use of what space was available and gained decent yardage. A field goal from this spot likely out of the question. They've got to get closer here on third down. He'll look to throw. Good work by Minshew there to pick up the first. If they get a game-changing score on this drive, it's going to be because of plays like that. That run was pure heart. Took it himself, found a way to reset the downs, and advance the ball. And they'll send the slot in motion left. They'll look to throw here on first down. Steps away to his left. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. And this is a rarity in the NFL. A 100-yard game on the ground for a quarterback. Even as those passers get more athletic and mobile, we only see about five of these a season. Takes a special set of circumstances for it to happen. And, of course, a special player. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. White running to the left. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. This has been an up and down, back and forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. Now second and nine. Looking to throw. Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Let's get the call. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. Looking to throw it. Minshew. 
So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They're giving him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. This offense so far on third down, they're at 50%, four for eight. This will be third and 19. Open man right side, Myers. So give him two yards there on the completion. And that's going to make it fourth down. Well, that's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath by all means. So a big one coming now for Daniel Carlson. This for a fourth quarter lead. The kick by Carlson is good. And they have taken the lead here in the fourth quarter. So the drive here ends with a field goal. It does give them the lead, but this one's still certainly a long ways from over. It definitely puts a lot of pressure on your defense to hold the lead, right? They're happy to have it and happy to be out there trying to do so. But I know as a former player, in the back of their mind, they're thinking, why don't you score the touchdown and seal this thing? After the made field goal, Carlson now sets up to kick this away. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Cincinnati now ready to take the field. And now they find themselves trailing following the field goal. Still a good amount of time in this fourth quarter, but this drive very well could determine the outcome of this ballgame. Burrow going to lead up the Bengals here first and 10, just shy of the 30. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know, this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. And now whistles and a flag, and I think we got a jump here. And that'll be a free five yards for the offense. Just like a tennis match, that's just an unforced error. Stay alert. Don't jump early and give them free yardage. So a first and five now after the five-yard penalty from the neutral zone infraction. Burrow looking to pass. Got a man. It's Brown. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. Same exact result as last play, a pickup of 11. For as many sacks as this defense has, you can understand their willingness to try and get upfield and get another. So what a really smart play call here to use their aggression against them, go with the screen, and they're able to get the first down. Now Burrow. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And it'll be second down. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. And Burrow going to throw again. A quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. But based on the play we just saw there, he might not be the guy you want to challenge in coverage on these all-important snaps. He certainly looks dialed in right now. And everybody thinking about the possible field goal on fourth. It would be 58 yards from here. Here's Burrow. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he just falls short down at the one-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Despite writing it down on my notes, I never give enough credit to the offensive line, and we have to here. The protection, that's what made this play a success. Quarterback had to wait for his crossing route to develop, and that takes a little bit of extra time. Excellent job by the big fellas up front. And the question now, how do they want to work the clock here on first and goal? A field goal would give them the late lead. 
Brown. Diving for the end zone, and he is in. Touchdown. And this is the time of game where offensive lines can really dictate a team's fortunes. It's been a tough battle. They've been out there for a long time. But this was a question of who can wear down who. And that's excellent work to put a long drive together and finish it with a touchdown run to take the lead. And Burrow's going to look to throw for it. And he will get into the end zone for the two points. And that helps. That gives him a seven-point lead. He hits the big target for the two-point try. <laughs> Defenses hate those guys, especially around the goal line. It's hard to decide who you're going to put on him. Are you going to put a smaller corner on him? Are you going to put a safety who doesn't have maybe the same coverage skills? How about a linebacker? He may have the size, but he's not used to really covering in space. That's why the tight end gives you such a great advantage when you're throwing the football. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. And he brings this out past the 20 to the 24. The visitors offense and their quarterback ready to go once more. And this defense has got to be at its wits end, trying to come up with ways to keep him contained. He's had so many opportunities to tuck it and go, and he's turned a number of those opportunities into big plays. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. They now trail by seven after that last touchdown here in the fourth quarter. What a big spot for this offense. See if they can cobble something together on this drive. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. And that's not a play that you see all that often at the start of a drive, but some teams, they don't mind doing it. And that one, well sold by the offensive linemen. They showed the pass, and then they got out into space, able to get some good blocks downfield and allow the play to be successful. Now a give to White. And space tough to come by there as he'll get maybe a yard to the 37. That felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball carrier before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. So from the 37, here's second and nine. They'll bring a receiver in motion right. Now Minshew. That's caught by Myers. And he will score. Touchdown, Las Vegas. Jacoby Myers. 63 yards and the Raiders are an extra point away from tying this game here in the final minutes as a former DB you might not like to see that but from a wide receiver's perspective those are the plays they dream of correct on both counts all right because once he took off I mean let's face it that should have been done in big sky country there aren't any speed <laughs> limits out there and off he went glad I wasn't the one trying to chase him don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And, partner, we've got a tie game here in the fourth. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Well, this offense headed back out, captained, of course, by their quarterback. And you get a look at the numbers, so they don't even tell the whole story. This has been a tremendous performance to this point.
The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. Well, they just gave up the score to tie it. That's the bad news. The good news, plenty of time in this fourth quarter to try to grab that lead back. So five yards here, five on the play. And that will bring up second down. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Throw right side, pulled in by Higgins. And he'll get this forward only for about a yard as that's going to take us to the two-minute warning. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. An important one here, no doubt. Third and four. Burrow will throw. I uh, had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Well, the defense certainly did its job. They held up in that situation, and now fourth down, you've got to punt this and try to get to overtime. There's no decision to be made, in my estimation. The Bengals bring out their punter now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. That'll be a 41-yard punt, just one yard on the return. And the Raiders will take over now first and 10. The visitors' offense and their running back getting ready to go back to work. And he has put in a full game's work and then some. Just an incredible performance on the ground to this point in the fourth quarter. Here's first and 10. Now Minshew. That's into the hands of his tight end Bowers. And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. Here's Minshew. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. The way he's throwing the football today, almost a surprise when he doesn't complete <laughs> a pass like happened there, but he needs a few more to get his guys downfield. Well, the way he's thrown it leads him to believe that he's going to get those completions, and that means the guys going out for passes, they'll run even harder because they expect it as well. Minshew. Throw right side taken in by the tight end, Bryant. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Well, this crowd into it now. Third and two. Minshew sets to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. With the kind of game he's had so far, you had to know that on third down, that they would be looking his way, and they did for big yardage and a first down. I think the defense fell asleep at the switch on that one. I would have doubled him, tripled him, anything to keep the ball out of his hands. They'll come up first and 10 here. They defer to White out of the shotgun. He'll work his way up the middle for a gain of about four, second down. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll get it with just under 90 seconds remaining. They'll come up now on second down. They stay on the ground with White. Breaks through the contact. And so close, he gets it to the one. Out of bounds right there. Boy, missed tackles. That could be their downfall, Charles. Yeah, they actually let him out of bounds there. Instead of the clock continuing to run, they let him out, and it turned into another timeout for him. Not good at all. Here we go. First and goal. 
White. He is going nowhere in a hurry as he is going to lose yardage here in a big way. The Bengals going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Second and goal from the sixth this time. On a handoff, it's White. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. Now the Bengals going to signal for their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. This crowd doing all they can. Here's third and goal. Running here with White. And he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. Have to kick this field goal, don't you? No question about it. Look at the clock. Look at the situation. Kick the field goal. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This to take the lead here in the final minute. The kick by Carlson is good. And the sideline celebrates as they have taken the lead in the final minute. So it's another field goal here. He may need to ice his leg after this one. That's now five field goals converted in this game alone. Yeah, get the trainer. They're going to need this guy. And they've needed every single one of the field goals he's made, too. If they're going to get out of here with a win, I say he gets a game ball. After the made field goal, Carlson now sets up to kick this away. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. So now out comes this offense led by their quarterback as they take over once more. This is first and ten. To throw Burrow. And that's going to be incomplete. Here's second down. Throwing Burrow. And that is incomplete. 16 seconds now on the clock. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. This definitely four down territory at this point, but a critical third down here. Now Burrow. Now throw right side here, going to be incomplete. This defense looking impenetrable now. Three straight incompletions. They're giving him nowhere to go with the football. Maybe a little frustrated back there. Oh, there's no doubt about it. When you've missed on three straight, there's going to be some frustration. But now he's got to make sure that that frustration is temporary, not lingering. Big throw coming up. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? A bit of a jump there, CD. He breaks the line, and that'll be five yards. And you've got to stay more disciplined than that, Brandon. That's just a free gift to the offense. Will the defense pressure or sit back? Here's fourth and five. Here's Burrow. And that's complete to Brown. He's across midfield. And finally down at the 32-yard line. 
That was a long shot, but they did get one final chance to try to score and overcome this small deficit. No touchdown, though, Charles. And that brings this one to a close. Yeah, I think Hope was wearing one jersey and Worry was wearing another on the other sideline as that final snap played out. Now, we've seen some incredible plays to win games before, but in this case, I think the distance was just a little bit too great for it to happen here. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. With that, we say so long from Cincinnati.